welcome to day five of 30 days of prayer. I'm Pastor Michelle Ferguson, and today we are going to be praying for our health and finances. I want to start by going to 1 Peter 2, 24. It says, who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness by whose stripes ye were healed. As a person who has testimony after testimony that God still answers by fire today, that God's healing power is still alive and well. I wanna remind you of this scripture. It talks about we aren't, it's not that we are healed, we were healed. Every price that needed to be paid for your healing has already been done. So I don't care what you've been going through. I don't care what the doctor says, what the diagnosis says, or even how you feel. The blood of Jesus is alive and well and working within your body. So we want to continue to pray for that. And then also our finances. And you know, one of the things about uh, healing is that for a lot of people who have walked through, and even in my own uh, testimony, uh, Satan sometimes will use health challenges to even drain your finances. So it's a great time to really even plug into that. Malachi chapter 3, um, verses 10 through 11 talk about the importance of bringing the tithes into the storehouse and how God will open the windows of heaven and remove the devourer for our sake. What does that mean? That means that Satan has no right when you are a giver and you're faithful to have his hand in your pocketbook, hand on your life and be able to choke out what God has blessed you with. So we want to take authority over that. And then I want to finish with just reminding you what Philippians 4:19 says. It says, but my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So today, let's join in together and go before the Lord in prayer concerning these two areas of our lives, not just so that we can be comfortable, so that we can be blessed, but that God through us can bless others.